In this lesson, we are going to learn to create Maven based project from IntelliJ IDEA in two ways. First is using a Maven archetype, second is without using a Maven archetype and finally we will see how to add Maven dependencies into this project. Now to start with, we need to have an idea of Maven archetype, the command and what it does. This MVN archetype or Maven archetype command in Maven is used to create a project structure based on a specified template or archetype. So by archetype we mean a template. An archetype is a project template which is used as a guide for creating new projects. This command is particularly useful because it helps you to start with a predefined structure for your project. Now why we need a predefined structure? For Maven based projects, whether it is a web project, whether it is a core Java project, depending on the scenario, your project structure may vary. So it's better to have a standard structure created and on top of that, you can do your development. That is why these archetypes are pretty handy. Now, this is the syntax of MVN archetype command, MVN archetype colon generate. Then there are certain parameters passed. Hyphen D means parameter, group ID equal to some value artifact id equal to some other value then we have archetype artifact id this is important which is maven archetype quick start now this artifact id maven archetype quick start or some other values these archetypes are stored in maven central so when we run this command based on the availability either in maven central or in our local system these templates are used and accordingly this project structures are generated finally i have interactive mode equal to false once this command is executed, Maven creates a directory structure fitting the conventions of the chosen archetype. So based on the chosen archetype, the project structure would be created. So for instance, the Maven archetype hyphen quick start creates a standard Java application structure with SRC main Java for source files and SRC test Java for test files. Now if the archetype name was different, say if it is a web based archetype, then I may have some additional project folders. So let me run this command mvn archetype and show you how it works. I am in command line. I have maven installed and I am going to run this particular command press enter. Now the project is getting created. Let's wait for a while. Seems the project creation is complete. Let me go to the directory. So here I can see the project is created. It has the source directory, the pom.xml. If I go inside source, I have main and test. Inside main, I have Java, then the package structure. Within that, I have a Java class. If I come back here, again inside test, I have similar structure and then the package structure for the test classes. So, why we discuss this MVN archetype command? Because when we create the project from IntelliJ using archetype, it would be internally firing this particular command. Let's get back to IntelliJ idea. So, I'm going to click on new project. Here, Maven is selected. You should be choosing the project SDK. In case you don't have it over here, you need to add it. You have to add it from here or you need to download. In my case, it is already there. So if I want to create from archetype, I need to check this box and select the archetype that I want to use. You can see over here, there are many common archetypes like archetype spring, quick start, the one that we are going to use, archetype for web app, JSF. Anyways, let me select quick start, click next. Let me provide a name over here. Now, based on the name that we have provided, if I expand this, I have the group ID. I can change it if I need. This is the archetype ID. It's based on the name that I have provided. I can change it over here. Version is given. Click on next. So it is using the Maven home path. It is using the bundled Maven. I have Maven installed in my system. I can change it to that particular location. For the time being, I'm keeping it default. Here, it is referring to the settings file, the local repository. It is all pointing to my local Maven installation. Then I have the properties like the group ID, artifact ID version of the current project and the archetype group ID, archetype artifact ID and the archetype version. Let's click finish. What IntelliJ IDEA will do now? It will internally invoke the MVN archetype command along with the values that I have passed. It will use that and finally, generate a project for me. Let's wait. It's right now trying to resolve the dependencies and performing the internal steps. On the left hand side, you can see the status is changed. It's green check. So the project creation is completed. On the left hand side, I can see the SRC directory, source directory and the pom.xml. Here I have main and test and inside main, I have the package structure and the Java class. Similarly, inside test, I have similar structure. So I have created a sample project using 
archetype. Now, going back to the archetypes, there are certain common archetypes as we discussed earlier. The one that we use Maven archetype quick start. We can use web app, we can use J2E simple, we can use Spring Boot. So, there are many common archetypes which can use. Now, this depends on the project requirement that we have. Anyways, let's get back to IntelliJ idea. Now, we have created a sample project with archetype. We are going to create another one without archetype. Click on File, New, Project, Maven is selected, SDK is selected. I am not going to use archetype, so I am not going to check this. Click on next, provide a name. The last one was with archetype, it would be without archetype. Here, similarly, if you want, you can change the artifact coordinates. Click on finish. Let's open a new window. So, on the left hand side, you can see the similar structure created, but there is a minute difference. If I expand this main, you can see this resources directory, which was not there in the quick start archetype. Apart from that, most of the things are same. And also here, we don't have any generated code. Archetype creates that generated skeleton for us. But when we are creating a new project directly from IntelliJ IDEA, we don't have any code generated. That is one difference we can notice over here. Now, we know how to create Maven based project using archetype and without using archetype from IntelliJ IDEA. Let's see how we can add dependencies. So, in order to add dependencies, one way is here, what you can do, you can just add a dependencies tag. Inside that, you can add a sample dependency like this and you can provide the values. But apart from that, another thing we can do, let me remove all this, I can go to code, generate, here, you can see dependency, dependency template, add dependency, many things are there. You can just click on dependency template. Why? Now, here, whatever you type in group ID, suppose I want to add common slang. So, the ID has auto completion, it will help you over here. So, if I type common hyphen lang, I don't need to type the entire thing. So, it is generating the artifact ID and it's providing me the versions. I can select anything from here. So, that is one way. Another way, let me delete all this. Code, generate, instead of dependency template, what I can do? I can add dependency. Here also, I have the search button. I can type common slang. Here, I have the different versions, but I don't think these are the ones that I need. Anyways, but this is also another way to add the dependencies. Another simple way, you go to internet, you search Apache Common Slang Maven dependency, you go to this central repository, select any version you would like to use, copy that dependency and add it over here. So, in this lesson, we have learned how to create Maven based projects from IntelliJ IDEA in two ways and how to add dependencies to the pom.xml if required.